All right, and today, the final thing I need to do is mount the Minn Kota heading sensor. And what I did was, before I start drilling any holes in the pilot house, I placed it on top of the pilot house, and I taped it, like I did in this video. And I tried it at this spot that I taped it, and it worked perfect. So now, I'm ready to mount it. All right, first of all, I'm gonna have to cut these cables. And just tape these two ends right here. So when I'm channeling this cable through the uh, pilot house, it doesn't get stuck. I have to make sure that through here there is no wires. Once I drill through the uh, roof of the pilot house, I don't hit any wires. So it's good to verify that before you start drilling some holes and hitting something you're not supposed to like radar wires, anything that is really gonna do some serious damage to your boat. Here it is. There's a lot of wires there. The wire is gonna come from up here, through here, down where there's a lot of wires, all the way down, and then follow it all the way down to the electrical panel here. All right, so I found the bit. It's the same thickness as this wire. gonna be right about here, right in the middle. All right, that's it. And the reason I put it a little bit linear is because I want the wire to go that way. And I think this wire is about 15 feet. So I think it's long enough. Now what I have to do is position it forward to make sure that it's aligned. Now something very important is going to be clean up with alcohol where I'm going to put some marine adhesive. get a good bond. I'm gonna get some marine adhesive and place it right through here. Then I'm gonna put a little bit here so that way when it gets to this point I have a little bit of marine adhesive here on top to seal it. Now what I want to do is get a little bit on the bolt, just like this. Get the other one, repeat the same process. All right, it's done, it's very secure. It's not gonna go anywhere and it's very lined up to the front. Now I'm gonna trace this wire all the way to the harness there and bring it down. So now I'm gonna transfer this wire from here all the way to that hole, bring it down this way. We can close this up. I'm gonna feed this cable right to this harness right here. We got plenty of room for it.
now we're going to follow it through here to this uh, harness take it all the way to the electrical part of the boat all right I'm gonna save a little bit of this cable just in case in the future I need to do anything I got a little bit of extra cable here so I'm just gonna secure it here Now uh, this recommended to use one amp fuse on it, so very important. And the wire that came with this, I had about an extra two feet to make it to the uh, to make it to the electrical board here. Alright, this is going to be for the negative and this is going to be the positive. I have the negative, we're going to use this area here and this bar. We're running out of room here. Pretty soon I'm going to have to add a bigger bar for positive and negative. Running out of room. All right, there's the negative. Now I'm going to go to the positive. I have added so much to this negative and positive bar. All right, now we're going to put the protective cover back on. There it is. All right, it's all secure. All right, so it's all done. It's all powered up. I saw the blue light of the uh, Bluetooth turn on and it looks awesome and it's well away from everywhere so I'm not going to kick it. I was thinking first to put it on the front there but it's a possibility that I will kick it or um, hit it when I'm walking around that area. So here is a perfect spot because even if I'm jumping from the roof to the water um, I'm not going to step on this side there. So it's well out of the way and if you look the antennas over there, radar seer and heading sensor in the perfect location nothing is going to bother it here and this is where I tested it before and I put marina adhesive all the way around the puck so that way there's no moisture of salt water going in there all right if you found this video helpful how to install your heading sensor please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching navigate safe